Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Truth by Billy Bean uh, Special Report. Today's date, March 5, 2023. Oh, and this is the day the U.S. continuity of government is supposed to take place. And everyone who's in has money or is high in the government and military is supposed to be going to those underground bikers. So this is in the morning of March 5. So we'll see what happens later in March 5 today uh, with regard to that bug out going on okay episode 522 is it safe to fly uh, a pastor and michael jaco indicate no so let's get to it some of my sources are god of the bible patriot subscribers suspicious observers uh pastor paul begley and mike from around the world uh michael jaco plus now uh, we've had some information come out from multiple sources about this Planet X, Nibiru, Binary Sun, Galactic Sheet, uh, something going on in space that's affecting Earth. And we're seeing it now, I believe. And I do believe it's reasonable to uh, accept that it is affecting uh flying so we had a couple of flights recently this is mexico texas this will be new hampshire connecticut west virginia virginia tennessee washington dc okay so we've been hearing about this Planet X and Nibiru and something from space coming in, affecting the Earth. And recently on Pastor Paul Begley's Thursday night program, Mike from around the world, and we believe Mike works for the NSA. He knows stuff. And my background is science. And what he's bringing out correlates with what I see happening in the physical world. Now we had also suspicious observers. Ben Davidson brought out maybe about four to six months ago the electromagnetic shield around the earth has been weakening and that's been going on for decades since i studied it in college in the 90s and it's allowing more radiation to come inside planes so the plane goes up the electromagnetic shield protecting the earth from the sun is weakening it lets in more radiation to the planes and that has been uh, ben davidson had a white paper uh, a science back paper written uh, documenting that so that's been going on now what mike from around the world is talking about are these micro bursts from space coming down and impacting events upon the earth and planes and so now we've had two incidents uh, this week. First, we had one, March 1. We had a Lufthansa, a German plane, an Airbus A330. That's a big plane. And it was going from Austin, Texas. And it was supposed to be flying out to uh, Europe, to Germany, Frankfurt, Germany. But they ran into turbulence and that happened in uh, Tennessee and uh, in this area and they sudden drop from 37,000 to 24,000 turbulence microburst and they had multiple injuries and I uh believe they went to washington dc uh, to an emergency hospital so that was on march 1. so then on uh, friday march 3 we had another plane this is a small plane taken off from new hampshire had to make an emergency landing in connecticut and that was, uh, they were on their way from New Hampshire to Virginia, but they had emergency landing in Connecticut because of turbulence. And uh, they had 
sat down at Bradley International Airport in Connecticut, take the person to the hospital. There were five people on this small plane and one was killed. Now, Pastor Paul Bigley uh, had asked Mike from around the world, that was right after the March 1 incident on Thursday night before the March 3 incident on Friday, if he thought it was safe to fly or if Pastor Bigley should invest in a, a van and drive more. And the indication was it would be good to drive. Now, I also heard an interview by Michael Jacob of Before It's News, and he stated several months ago his intuition told him, don't fly. So he drives now, even if he's attending something. I think he lives in Florida now, and he's attending something in California. It may take him a few days to drive there, but he drives. So I say, pray and be safe in the skies. I love you, and I'll see you soon.